Um, as Casper mentioned, I uh, was born in Iran. Uh, I often joke that I come from a long line of lukewarm Muslims and exuberant atheists. My uh, mother was the lukewarm Muslim. My father was the exuberant atheist. Uh, one of these atheists, you know the kind I'm talking about, who uh, always had a pocket full of Prophet Muhammad jokes that he would pull out in inappropriate times, that kind of atheist. Um, when the revolution happened in Iran in 1979, I was about seven years old, uh, my father, who never trusted anyone in a turban, uh, thought it would be a good idea to leave. If you recall, the Ayatollah Khomeini quite famously uh, said that when he returned to Iran, he was not interested in politics. He just wanted to go back to his studies and to his mosque and, and to his families. My father did not believe that for a minute, and he thought it would be a good idea if, while you know things settle down, if we left for a while, of course, that was 34 years ago. <laughs> Things did not settle down. Uh, my father was right about Khomeini, which he reminds me of on a daily basis. Um, and so we ended up in, in California, in the Bay Area in California. This was, of course, the 1980s. Uh, not sure if you remember the 1980s. For those of you who were in the States during that time, uh, not exactly the best time to be either Iranian or Muslim in America. Uh, as opposed to now, when it's fantastic. Um, <laughs> this was at the height of the Iran hostage crisis, 444 days in which Iranians were being held hostage in the American embassy in Tehran, and for you know a seven-year-old boy trying his hardest not to uh, appear weird to try to fit in, uh, it was really urgent for me to distance myself as much as possible from my heritage, my culture, um, certainly my religion. I've said, I've admitted many times before that I actually spent a good part of the 1980s pretending to be Mexican, uh, which will tell you how little I understood about America. I thought that they would treat me well <laughs> if I said I were Mexican, which, you know, obviously I had no idea what I was talking about. Um, but although I sort of grew up in an environment that wasn't very religious, uh, you know, I mean, my mother prayed every once in a while, but certainly by the time we got to the States, that was kind of the end of that. Um, I was always deeply interested in religion, deeply interested in, in spirituality. I don't know why, honestly. I, I, you know, I, I've been asked this question many, many times. I don't think I have an answer for it. I guess the best answer that I can give is that there was something about those childhood uh, experiences of revolutionary Iran that instilled in me a real appreciation for the power that religion has to transform a society, 